today, Kilroy goes off the shelf on Errata. In the beginning, publishers made war games and saw everything that they had made and beheld was good, was very good, and thus ended their work and rested for all which, which they had made. The end, right? Aren't all war games created perfect? Well, your mileage may vary, but for me, that's a negative. Errata, or is it errata? Heck, even the word is ripe for errors. Has been with us since the beginning and manifests itself in all aspects of rules, maps, counters, and other components. Sometimes all of the above. We have all seen one of these. Well, no, that's a packing slip. Or no, we've seen one of these. Oh, that's another packing slip. You know what? We've seen one of these. You know, a little slip of paper that comes with the game. In fact, the variety of errata and how it's communicated is endless. So we get little slips of paper. We get bigger slips of paper with errata. We get, you know, colored pieces of paper with errata. Then we get big, big colored pieces of paper with errata. Then we get, you know, double-sided pieces of paper with errata. And then we get, you know, multiple pieces of pages with errata. And then you get official errata that's published on the side and then you can print out and look at on that. Sometimes errata comes in the magazines, you know, like CC3i comes with GMT errata or, or, or components. You know, sometimes there's components that, that, that GMT will send out or others will send out. Here's a uh, lock and load uh, replacement counters. And then there's a replacement pack. This is the recent replacement pack or upgrade kit for three games from GMT. Then there's living rules. Oh my God, living rules. You gotta go print out the living rules because that will contain all the different versions and all the different errata over time. And there's several different living rules. Sometimes the errata comes in the game itself. Here's a magazine game and it's talking about a change in the in the chart that's on the board that is errata, okay. And then you've got, you know, in, in games that come, that are unrelated, that come out after the fact, here's errata. This is to put on uh, dealing with no peace without uh, Spain map, but this came with a pragmatic war. Okay, so it's a totally different game. And in the old days, you know, we had the general magazine that used to make, make, come out with some errata or other magazines or war game that used to come out with errata. Uh, it's everywhere uh, and it's in everything. Why does it bother us or why does it bother some of us more than others? Well, you pay good money. Some of these games are, you know, 40, 50, 60, 100, 120, maybe more dollars. You pay good money, you expect it to be perfect or near perfect out of the box. You know, that that that's an expectation. Is that a reasonable expectation? I'll leave that to you. You know, what really annoys some people are obvious or glaring mistakes, you know, on a counter or on the map or in the rules that's just, you know, should should have been caught and just kind of sticks out. But that doesn't make the game unplayable. The other mistakes are the ones that are the real problem, the ones that kind of make the game almost unplayable. You know, mistakes in counters, mistakes on the map that make it confusing for setup or, or victory conditions, or rules that just make it so convoluted that you don't even understand how to play the game. You know, how does this happen? Well, you know, there's numerous reasons, and, um, you know, but at a very, very high level, uh, you know, it's a miss in production and quality control. You know, th th those type those type of misses normally affect the components. You know, as they were doing the development or the quality control uh, at the production stage, they just missed, you know, may maybe a map uh, uh, sheet or proof got misplaced or got miscommunicated. Uh, you know, the, 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 the other bigger mistakes, like in the rules or in the playability, you know, that usually comes from uh, a miss in development and play testing as opposed to production. Uh, and that could be more serious because that could be a problem with the game. And, you know, we see this uh, not as much anymore, but, you know, there, it still persists. And it's in a lot of different, you know, magazine games that, you know, are, are quick to production or, or uh, rush to production and might not have been play test or developed the same amount. And so there could be some quirks in the rules. So, you know, play testing and development usually affect the rules and gameplay, uh, quality control and, and production side you know, are going to are going to affect the components and what you get with the game. Uh, is it excusable? Again, your mileage may vary, but some amount of errata is tolerated, accepted, or heaven forbid, even expected. Are we as consumers giving publishers too much of a pass? You know, heck, even software programs that we can't live without have patches from time to time. 
Is errata truly inevitable? Is any of this acceptable? And if so, how much? And how, how should it be communicated? Are we okay with these little slips of paper? Are we okay with magazine? Are we okay, are okay going online? Are we okay having the Rada published in a, a subsequent game that's unrelated that you might not buy? You know, what do you think on that? Uh, is the slip just right? Is a kit? Is a, do, do we all need to have a 50 page living rule book? Is that what we need to cure our errata? You know, um, do we need to wait like fate for it to get to us? You know, is it kind of like a fortune cookie that's just kind of floating on the ether and waiting for it to get to us so that we now can have the errata? What do you think? Talk amongst yourselves. I'd like to see a discussion start with this. While I'm doing wait, I have my little self here. Oh, oh great. Uh, uh, I'm not cleaning up this mess.